Welcome to another part of Natural Bond Orbital series. Today I am going to introduce new version of former NBOLIS macro application, so-called JMO NBO Visualization Helper. The main idea behind both applications was to assist with syntax of JMO macro files and formats and use them as input into JMO Molecular Visualizer. So what is JMO NBO Visualization Helper? JMO NBO Helper is Java-based application which offers a simple way of generating JMO macro files or visualizing NBO-related orbital imagery in JMO. To do that, NBO plot files have to be available and can be obtained from a variety of electronic structure systems that work with NBO modules. JMO NBO Helper also assists with inspecting selected outputs from JMO NBO output files. In this introductory video, we will go through the steps of running this standalone JAR file, preparing macro files and visualizing them in JMO, and inspecting a few selected outputs from NBO output file. On Windows system, we will start by double-clicking the JAR file. There are two tabs in the application, JMO Setup and NBO Analysis. Let's start with JMO Setup to prepare macro files for JMO visualization. Click the Browse Directory button and browse for the any plot file created earlier. Logical file name in 3 that was just loaded can be changed through more intuitive drop-down menu. Select orbital basis that you want and proceed to box below. Here we enter NBO orbital number or range and click create at the bottom. Note that new files were created in default JMO directory. Now let's clear the inputs and generate images for interacting orbitals. Check NBO interaction box, enter interacting pairs separated by columns and commas, choose background color and click create. Note that two additional macros were added. Now open JMO and from Macros menu click one of the files created earlier. A nice image of carbon-oxygen sigma bonding orbital is displayed. Another file loads CH sigma bonding orbital. By selecting one of the interacting examples, we obtain a nice image of long pair on oxygen interacting with antibonding CH orbital. Unfortunately, signs of bonding antibonding orbitals are opposite. Positive blue should overlap with positive darker blue in the antibond. Since the real interactions depend only on the square of orbital overlaps, we can safely reverse the overall sign of either orbital. To do that, we add I, as in inverse, to the orbital that we want to have opposite face. Now the picture seems right. Antibonding orbitals have darker colors than the lighter bonding lobes. Now let's reset the interface and set up contours. Check the contours box and choose the plane. Five options of a plane definition are available. In this example, we choose non-parametric equation of a plane onto which we will be looking from y direction.
new macro was created. Note the C at the beginning of the file name. It stands for contour. S stands for surface. A nice contour picture. And similarly for interacting orbitals. Density and size of contours can be modified in this box. And now let's review the MBO analysis box. Click Open MBO button. Load the MBO or output files and check different radio buttons to inspect information about specific orbitals and pairs. For additional details, check the blog at the top address. The download link with updates is at the bottom. Those links have also been added into the description field of this video.